yo, yo, what up, you two? What the frack's going on with you guys? What the frickin' frack is going on? Well, as you can see, it's a beautiful Sunday. Almost afternoon. Been out here working all morning. Um, only get one day off a week, so I gotta pack everything, try it into one day. I just cut the grass, and as soon as I got home last night, uh, well, yesterday, late afternoon yesterday, I started working. I, uh, working on the hops. Yeah, mm, hops. Mm, it's May 11th today. No, May 10th, Mother's Day. Ha! Um, <clears throat> out here, have to get ready for the hops, because last week, on Sunday, I noticed uh, that they were just popping up from underneath the soil. And actually there was about maybe an inch, maybe two, and actually started to leaf. You could see the leaves starting to form. So my wife, Fran, she sent me a picture on Thursday, I think, Thursday or Friday. And these hops have taken off the ones that were here last year. Um, I mean, taken off. So take you over to see the ones from last year first. That was my Nugget and Chinook hops. The Nugget plant was a two-year-old plant and the Chinook was a one-year-old plant. So let me turn you around here. Wow! Look at that. So here's the Chinook. And I mean, they're probably 18 to 24 inches in the air already. So I just put these strings up last night and started to train them. And even overnight, they've started to twist a little bit more. I pruned them up, you know, choose my best three or four vines for each rope. Going up, there's the nugget. It's doing the same thing. So this year I decided to use quarter inch yellow rope. Because last year, last year the baling twine broke on me. It kept breaking. Um, just under the weight. And anyway, so the new hop garden going in this year, oh! Let me show you. Over well, back over here, I picked up a couple of new rhizomes. I picked up four, two heller taw. I planted those last night, so they should be popping up this week. And over here, we've got. This is a strawberry bed, but I asked my wife if I could take a little section of it. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to divide and keep the hops from spreading through the whole bed. Okay, so it's just a long, narrow bed, and I planted the cascade rhizomes last night. One there and one there, and then basically put a string all the way up to the top of the house. Brought it back down, tied it off of two spots. So that'll give them lots of room to grow, and even give me some shade in the midsummer, late summer, you know. So uh, one more hop garden to show you. Well. Kind of a hop garden. Nate, just going out front. Audrey's my tag along here. Alright. The A from the jamming. Walking around on the other side of the house. Da, 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 da. Yeah, working six days a week doesn't leave a lot of time for brewing or anything. But you, I can pack it all into one day. Keeps you busy, you know? Um... Did you guys check out the video from last week, the uh, toasted coconut oatmeal stout? It's a good video. Lots of good feedback on that one. Okay, here we are. This is another Chinook. I uh, had two more one-year-old plants left over, so I decided to throw them in a container. And here we are. And this is their second year, and they've taken off too. You know, not, a, not as much growth, but I have to fertilize them. So what I did was I tied strings to the fence with little eye hooks and then took them all the way up to the top of the house. Let them grow on a bit of an angle. So that's pretty cool, right? So this is going to be part one of hop season 2015. Oh, my boy's out cruising on his four-wheeler. Yeah. Ooh, look at the new truck. Bought that in January. He got that for Christmas this year. He loves it. 
He's learned how to fishtail. See that, little skid? Audrey Cruz on our new gear bike. That's what she calls it, a gear bike, because it's got gears. So there you go. Episode one, no, part one. Hop growing season, 2015. Beautiful spring day. I'd almost consider this summer because it's hot, muggy. It's supposed to rain today. I almost forgot. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. They're watching my videos, <laughs> our videos. Um, gotta find my kids, hang on. There they are. Here comes the dude. Rocking and rolling. Audrey just a cooking. Nice. Who's that for? It's for me. It's for you. Uh huh. Audrey gave me clay to make it, and I put sparkles on it. Sweet to heart. Yeah, and I use a straw to cut the hole. Hi, Mickey. Hi. Okay, where is the mom? In the washroom. You know, oh, of the Mother's Day. Come over here. It's a little brighter. Happy Mother's Day, sweetheart. Thank you. What are you doing? Cleaning. Ah, uh, I think that's supposed to be what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe. Or you. No. What do you mean, me. no? You. Anyways, happy Mother's Day, honey. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Oh, oh what else are we doing today? We're listening to some cool new vinyl. Uh, I got a couple of ABBA albums for the kids. Well, for me too, for mommy too. But look at the collection's coming along. Got some pretty cool stuff. I got a uh, John Mellencamp album. Yeah, I didn't know what album it was. I just picked it up. It was in good condition. And it's got all, both of the kick butt tunes of John Cougar Mellencamp, Jack and Diane. And what was the other one? Here it is. No, that's uh, Mr. Mr. Rule. That's got two good, two uh, really good songs on it. And Hurt So Good from John Mellencamp. Good hop update. Mm, nice new truck. Yeah, I'm happy with it. <laughs> All right, guys, have fun. Drink lots of good beer. It's too early in the morning for beer right now, so I can't cheers with beer. I can, however, cheers with a coffee. I just got to get to it. And I gotta hurry back and parent of the year. It's Mother's Day, not Father's Day. <laughs> Cheers. Salud. Hasta luego.